here are the 20 that participate in tonight's event. They're in first place after the short program. They need 110 points here minimum to move into first place among the teams that have already skated in the long. They're starting off with movements in isolation. And you can see sort of a relaxation in their face. It's a nice piece to start off with, a little calm and just getting into the movement. They have a nice stride. You can see in their crossovers how nice and deep the edges are. They skate with both edges. Some, some skaters and teams you see, they're a little weaker in just the simple skating and this they're very strong. Spread eagles. Every one of them doing a spread eagle, which is really impressive. Some people can't do them very well. Staying in formation doing that. And a nice round circle you can see from this overhead camera view while not holding on. It goes off a little here and there and then they're right back into sync. that circle tightens down while still mm -hmm. keeping the relative relations. I like looking at when they are in the circle and then they spin the skirt. It looks it, like you were saying earlier. It really is kind of a neat view. Something you don't typically see in single skating. There, I, there, I don't think there ever is uh, this overhead camera except maybe specialty shot in a show. More dramatic music this time from another soundtrack, an American movie from Independence Day. There's a nice lines here, moving very quickly from one to the next. The splits are smooth. That's a tight formation there. They're really close together. Nice block. In case you're wondering, these programs are... Uh scheduled to go about four and a half minutes in duration. I can see the skating itself is strong, and you can see why they are in first place going into this. It's, um, they don't have to take as many strokes, and yet they're very fast. That's because the quality of the stroking is very good. They, what you do in the triangle or an intersection like that is you need to be in position, have the, see the triangle intersect, and then see it again before you go into the next move. And that, and the judges are looking for that second formation after the intersection. You're very familiar with this. Uh, there, there's a very strong team here at the World Championships from your backyard that once recruited you, right? Um, yes, actually, uh, Hayden Nets asked me to be a member once, but I was very busy and. Um, although I've had them in many of my shows and I love working with them. It's amazing. They're so well trained and you know you can say I love that move but to go with this music can you just hold this two more seconds and you know just like that they can do it. Nice split here in different positions. That's really well done. Their lines were very straight. Since uh, you and I have begun watching this competition you can see some, some new elements being introduced. Some elements of pair skating within the synchronized team skating. Yes. It's different. It's interesting. I think it gives it a whole new look. Wow. Difficulty much, much more difficult. How'd that they was, do that? That was exciting. <laughs> right to the music. That was new, just as we called it. This is the team from Finland, their top-ranking unit here in the World Championships. They're called Marigold Ice Unity. In first place after the short program, trying to stay there. You're talking about the yeah. lifts and yeah. the um, movements in isolation. Some doing butterflies, others doing lift. It's very nice, and it makes for a really nice dramatic opening and closing. And holding the lift there. Great uh, strength movement by uh, Team Finland number one in first place after the short program. And I would think.